Are you a first time supervisor or manager and trying to figure out how you can get people to accomplish the goals that you've set for them? Well, if that is you, I have the number one thing that you need to know when it comes to motivating your teams to be able to accomplish their goals and your goals for that matter. My name is Phil Ciccio and I work with new supervisors and I work with experienced supervisors, helping them to help their teams become better, produce more, be higher performers, and of course, accomplish their goals. And I'm gonna share with you in this video exactly how I've done that and exactly how I've helped other people do this as well. Look, it's so important to understand, when you become a first time supervisor or manager, you have all kinds of objectives, right? Maybe your manager is telling you that everybody has to accomplish these goals. And so then you go out and you share the objectives or the goals with your team. And you know what, if your team respects you and if they like you, they're gonna do their best to accomplish those goals. But you see, they don't own those goals or those objectives. Those goals and objectives are yours. And they may work hard to get to them, right? But if they don't, if they fail, well, it was your goal, your objective, your idea. So really no skin off their back, right? So what we want to do is we want them to take ownership of these goals and objectives. And how are we going to do that? We have to make these goals theirs. We have to make these objectives theirs. How do we do that? Well, this is important, okay? People work harder for that which they create. I'm gonna repeat that. People work harder for that which they create. Well, knowing that, then this idea here is about getting them to create the objective, to create the goal. If it's theirs, they're gonna work a lot harder for it to not allow it to fail than they would if it was yours. Think about this, right? If they, if you give them a goal, right, and it doesn't work, well, they're gonna, it's really not a big deal for them, right? Well, you gave them the goal and it was you know, unrealistic, maybe they'll say, or the expectations weren't there. Whatever, they'll come up with some idea. But if you allow it to be their goal and their objective, now they want it to be successful because if it fails, it was their idea. So we want it to be their idea. Now, how do we do this? You're the manager, you're the supervisor, and it's really your idea, right? Well, there's a couple of things that you can do. One of the things that I've done, okay, is I brainstorm with my team, or at least some of my team, the ones that have some influence, and I say, look, here's what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, I haven't really come up with an idea on how to get there or, or an objective or a goal. Can we brainstorm this idea? And then we have people start to brainstorm. First of all, you might be surprised that they come up with something better than you thought of. And if you, if that happens, this is important, you can say, that is a great idea. Now, if I said, that is a great idea to you, right? You just took ownership. I just gave you ownership of that idea. Well, that was really your idea, so that's great. You'll run with it and hopefully work really hard to make it happen. But you're gonna work harder for your idea than you'll ever work for my idea. So try to get ideas from your people. You'd be surprised what people have within them that they don't even know that they have by just brainstorming a little bit. Plus, you being open and, and allowing them to share their ideas is the best and most effective way to be a manager because now you're allowing them to be creative. You're not stifling their create creativity. You're allowing them to express their creativity. There's nothing better than that for a person on your team. Now, let's just say you brainstorm and they don't come up with an idea that's as good as yours or even they don't come up with really much at all, right? They just kind of you know share some ideas around but nothing really resonates with everybody and nothing says that's the idea. Well, guess what you can do? Based on what they're saying, right? You could say this, hey, based on what you've all shared, I had this thought, thank you. And so you're still giving it to them, right? Based on what you all shared with me, I had this thought, why don't we run with it? Thank you, and now you've given it to them. Remember, the idea here is to make sure that they feel like they have some ownership in it, right? People work hard for that which they create. So make it their idea, okay? Really simple concept, not that hard to do. Get them involved, and guess what? More often than not, they might come up with a better idea than you had. If you like this video, click like and share it with anybody that you know that can benefit from it. I enjoyed uh, working with you here today and I hope that I've added some value and that you become a better supervisor or manager based on this one idea. Take care.